Finley Stadium in Raleigh, North Carolina. The teams take the field. Let's head down to the coin toss now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. The kicker's got the ball set up, and we're ready to get this thing started. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 26. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. At the 28. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on the 28. Brought down at the 37. You like to see a team having success like this running the football. It can really open up things for the offense. Here they come. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 37. Three down, three down. Check three, check three, check three. Here we go, here we go. Green, pick up. Tackle made at about the 49. The option's one of the more difficult plays to defend. The defense went after the quarterback, which left the running back with plenty of room. That's a great tackle to the 38-yard line. Man, as an offensive lineman, this is the worst thing that you want to see, is your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that. Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of it. from their own 38-yard line. Second down. Got some open field. They'll bring him down right around the 46-yard line. It's almost picked off, and they're going to have to bring on the punt team. It was a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. Harrell is the deep man awaiting the return. It's away, and it's a booming punt. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. There's a strike complete. He's tackled at the 23. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. It's second and seven. Ball on their own 23. He's tackled right around the 26-yard line. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And he's taken down at the 36-yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 36. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. You can tell he's got a lot of faith in his wide receivers. 
even when he's a little bit off target, they can pull it in and make something happen. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Caught, and he steps out of bounds. The pass is complete for four yards, and that'll be a first down. Nothing special here. Quick pass and a good catch, but it keeps the chains moving. And I think it was the quick throw by the quarterback that fouled up the defense on that one. Quick out to his receiver. Touchdown! He makes the PAT. A six-play, 80-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Brad, how about the guys up front? The offensive line giving the quarterback plenty of time to be able to read the defense and make the right throw. So our score... 7-0. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Hurricanes are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Lost a few yards on the play. From their own 23-yard line, second down. Tries to pitch it, and now the ball is loose. Out of bounds at the 27. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Red two. Man open, incomplete. They'll bring him down at the 39. They did a great job on their last drive, moving the ball down the field for a touchdown. Let's see if they can duplicate that on this drive. And it was a really nice drive, too, Brad. The quarterback got into a nice rhythm and did a good job of picking apart the defense. Gets out to around the 48. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Miami is up a score. Complete. He's got room. He goes out of bounds at the 49. Arroyo gains about a yard with a short completion. They didn't need much, and they barely got it. That's cutting it pretty close. It was a great read by the quarterback there to take the snap and throw it quickly to get the first. And they make the stop at the 38. From the 38-yard line. First down. Steps out of bounds at the 35-yard line. Taken down at the 21. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him the first down. That's just a nice play. From the 21-yard line, first down. He 
he gets out to about the 18-yard line. Tackled after a decent pickup. Here's the eighth play of the series. Miami is up by a touchdown. They go back to him on a quick throw, and he's immediately tackled. Can smell the end zone as they look to extend this lead. Quick strike, and he drops it. Tenth play of the drive. Fires quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. Fired it out to his wide receiver, who made the grab and got the score. When this guy's got time to throw, he makes the defense pay. And he converts the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And he's taken down at the 21-yard line. Miami's defense is playing lights out right now and pitching a shutout. Yeah, I would not be shocked at all to see this defense be able to maintain this. I, it just the way they're playing, the attitude that they seem to be playing with, if they can maintain the energy and the awareness of this offense, there's a very good shot that they could shut this offense out. And he just gets rid of it. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. From their own 21-yard line, it's second down. And down he goes, right around the 30. Gets out to about the 31. So he gets maybe a yard on the option. That'll bring up fourth and one. And watch out. They're going to bring the heat right here. The Hurricanes have been waiting for a game like this, and their offensive coordinator has been praying for one, and I think his prayers are answered so far early. Well, he put together a great game plan. He talked with you and I about how he felt like they could exploit some things, and they've done it up to this point. See if they can maintain it and continue to play well. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Throws it to coverage, just picked off. And he tackles him hard at the 48-yard line. Well, that's exactly what they needed, Brad. Somehow to get the football back to their own offense. They need points on the board, and they need them in a hurry. And that turnover could help them out. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. He's scrambling, and he can't get away from the pressure. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. Looking to dig themselves out of a little hole here after the sack. It's second and 14. They'll get him for a loss. 
loss of three yards. That'll bring up third and long. Good tackle there in space. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. He's on the run. He's tackled in the open field. So he keeps it and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. From the 26 yard line, it's first down. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. The back gets three on the carry. That'll make it second and seven. Short pass, middle of the field, and he's hit immediately. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. Roger, Roger. Hey, check, check back, check back. And that'll bring an end to the first quarter of action. 14-0, Miami. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. tackled in the open field. It's the ninth play of the drive. He scrambled. Tackle at the 13-yard line. From the 13 yard line, it's second down. Just throws this one away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Here's the 11th play of the drive. The offense going to try to open this field up, coming out in a five wide set. And the defense counters with their dime look. Strike to his receiver, no good. There was just no way anybody could catch up with that pass. It's fourth down. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. Kicks up, and it sails through the uprights. Carolina State is lining up to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. They give to the tailback. Brought down the 39-yard line. From their own 39-yard line. First down. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's a game of five on the play. That brings him second and five. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. Third 
second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Nice run there. They keep it on the ground and get the first down. Give credit to the big boys up front. They did an excellent job of allowing the back to get nice yardage there. made around the 41 yard line. That brings up second and one. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. So with that run, they pick up another first. It's a nice job again up front by the offensive line. They're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front, and it's allowed them to move the ball down the field. Get to that quickly. They'll bring him down around the 31-yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. That makes it second and two. And he hits him hard at the 34. And here's another third down. He's going to go for the home run. Looking for six, and he got it. Touchdown. And he adds the extra point. Miami kicked this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Gains his way to the 36-yard line. Very well-designed play that time to give him a first down. The linemen executed their blocks nicely, and it went for a good game. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. Get him in the backfield. No game. That brings up third and ten. It's third and ten. Ball on their own 36. Black five. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Good awareness by the defense to know where the first down was and stop him short of. They've got 10 guys up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Brought down at the 25. Brad, let's see if this offense can maintain the rhythm that they established on that last drive. Not just putting points on the board, but driving the length of the field to be able to eventually put points up. I think that's going to be important for them to try to keep that confidence going here on this drive. That brings them second and five. We've got a second and five. Ball on the 30. Three down, three down. 
He gets rid of this one. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Steps up. Almost intercepted there. This is definitely going to be pass interference. However, I'm not sure who they're going to call it on. Great reaction to get his hands in the way of that pass. That's not an easy play to make. That'll bring up fourth and five. Joyce to punt. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. He's taken down at the 38-yard line. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. It's second and seven. Ball on the 41. The pitch, and he's got some room. Inside the 30. And he's tackled at the 24-yard line. And he busted that one wide open. On defense, you can't afford to give up big runs like that. Let's see now how the defense responds to giving up the gain on the run. Counter left. He's tackled right around the 28-yard line. Sometimes a play is not going to work for whatever reason. Doesn't mean you throw the play away. You just need to execute better next time. Gets out to around the 18. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Wants to throw outside. Finds the man. Touchdown. Hits the PAT. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 23 yard line. The offense is looking to be a little bit more successful with this drive as they had to punt the ball away the last time they had it. That's a great tackle at the 24. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 24. He's taken down at the 36. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. And he's taken down around the 38-yard line. From their own 38-yard line, second down. Throws back the other way, incomplete. Smith 
Here's a throw, and it's almost picked. Allen is back awaiting the punt. Tackle made at the 35. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. Wears it out to the right to the halfback. And he's shoved out of bounds around the 46-yard line. From their own 46-yard line. First down. Fires out to his wideout, and he is drilled at the 41. Now he tries to buy some time. He's at the 30. He gets hit out of bounds at the 19-yard line. You know that saying, get your keys out because we're on a drive? Well, this offense right now is on a drive. I mean, this is their third first down. They're doing just about anything they want, and they're really starting to wear the psyche of this defense down. Looking for the corner. The 10 decides to slide. It's always a snap decision when you decide to tuck it and run. On that play, it was definitely the right move as he got the first down after a nice game. Two-score game, and they can cut that down here if they can get this one in the end zone. Houston gets a ball left side, and down he goes around the 10-yard line. That brings him second goal. Zips it out to his runner, and he's got him again. And he converts the extra point. North Carolina State ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. At the 30. And he's tackled at the 35-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Miami is up by four. And they make the stop at the 45. Good job by the offensive line to pick up the linebacker on the blitz. That gave the quarterback enough time to find his man for a nice game. He's got to throw it in a hurry. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. From the 45-yard line, second down. Throws complete, and he's hit right away. Tackle at about the 31. He's scrambling. And he can't get away from the pressure. We played a half. The Hurricanes in front, 21-17. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. 
David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. I'm sure both teams have problems in the first half, but one of them, David, not moving the football. Both offenses really ran up and down the field. We see this more in college football, Reese. More success on the offensive side, and it's harder and harder to stop these offenses that continue to get more and more complicated. The defenses, they got no answer. They got to find an answer quick, or else this ball game is just going to go tick for tack the whole second half. I can only hope that Nestler and Herb Street will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I have brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. Welcome back to the action. Second half just about set to begin. We got a tight game here. Arrow fields it at the one. And down he goes at the 30 yard line. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Miami is up four. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. It's first and ten. Ball on the 41-yard line. And he's hit immediately. That makes it second and two. Nice run up the middle. Gain of seven yards. First, First and ten. Ball on the 44. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That brings him second and five. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. That's a game of four. That'll make it third. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. Big stop by the defense. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Brought down at the 39. From their own 39-yard line, it's second down. Tackle made around the 35-yard line. The D-line did a good job of nullifying out the blocks up front, and that allowed the linebacker to roam free and make the tackle in the backfield. Completes it across the middle. They'll bring him down at right around the 44-yard line. That'll make it fourth and two. Harrell will be the return man. Oh man, he took him down hard. 
So they're just about set to get the game going again. Miami holds a four-point lead. Caught it, but they're going to lose yards. He was tackled immediately. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on their own 30. And he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And he's tackled at the 48-yard line. Another catch, and he's up to 100 yards now. Even when he isn't open, the quarterback will still throw him the ball and just let him make a play. It really shows the trust that the quarterback has with his receiver. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 48. Tackles him hard at the 40-yard line. That'll bring up second and three. They hand it off. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. They'll line it up again on third down. Miami is up by four. There's a strike complete. He's tackled around the 26-yard line. That makes it first and ten. From the 26-yard line. It's first down. Throws a laser across the middle. He's taken down at about the 21. Here's the eighth play of the series. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. That makes it first, and goal. first down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Throws to the receiver, incomplete. Here's play number 10 on the drive. He's taken down at the four. So here we go. It's third and goal from the three-yard line. And down he goes right around the two-yard line. Miami is up four. The kick is up, and it's good. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20, and he's hammered down. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. And he hits him hard at the 23. Gaining two yards. That makes it second and eight. 
from their own 23-yard line. Second down. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. Slings it. He's to the 40. And they make the stop at about the 45. From their own 45 yard line. First down. He makes it out to maybe the 46 yard line. Call it a gain of one yard. That makes it second and ten. Double tight, guys, double tight. Four down, four down. Hey, check, check back, eleven, check back, eleven. Go. Red two, yellow three. There he goes. Brought down in the open field. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Grabs a pitch, looking for the corner. And they push him out at the 27. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 27-yard line. Gives it to the back. He's gobbled up in the backfield. The defense was playing run all the way right there, and it paid off for him. This is the eighth play of this drive. They'll knock him down for a loss. Just nowhere for the ball carrier to go as the linebacker met him in the backfield. Boy, what great play recognition by this linebacker. He saw the run was coming, and he just shot through the gap and made a great tackle. Third down now. They need to get it to the 17. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. He throws right on the pass. Touchdown. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. He makes the PAT. A nine play, 80 yard drive, and they come away with seven points. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both these offenses stepping up and answering the bell. Who's going to blink first here? <laughs> exactly right. I've just been impressed with the way they've been able to execute. I mean, there's, there's a lot of pressure on them. Anytime you're feeling that the other offense can put points up on the board, there's a tendency to want to press. Either one, either one has done that up to this point, and right now it's going to come down to who can continue to execute and put points up. You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. And they'll get him in the backfield. The blockers tried to sell the misdirection, but the defenders stayed home and made the play. That's the kind of effort a coach likes to see from his defense. We've got a second and 14. Ball on the 21-yard line. No 
he'll keep it on the ground again. Makes it out to about the 29. Under pressure. Got it to his man on the screen. Tackle around the 31-yard line. So at the end of the third quarter, good game, 24-24. in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Joyce is the punter. Tackle made at the 36. Early in the fourth quarter, who's going to make a play? Which team's going to come out on top? We're in a tie game and we're about to find out. Takes the ball right. He tackles him for a loss. No gain on the play. From their own 36-yard line. Second down. And he's tackled right away. Tries to buy some time, and they got it. And the linebacker gets in there for the sack. Great time to bring some heat from the linebacker spot. They come up to the line here. It's second down and 14 after the sack. for a loss. That's a loss of three yards on the play. That'll bring a third and long. He's pushed out of bounds around the 45-yard line. Big kick here to try to pin the offense deep in their own territory. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. You've got to be aware that capitalizing on this drive is crucial. You want to take the pressure off you and put it on your opponent. Tackled after a decent pickup. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. And he throws it away. Well, the defense stood tall there. Boy, the defense did what they had to do to get three and out and now get the offense back on the field. Allen is the deep man awaiting the return. Oh, he got nailed on that one. Ooh. 
we might have overtime in the back of our minds, but down on the field, that hasn't occurred to anyone. They want to end this thing in regulation. Quick throw. Brought down around the 42-yard line. About a five-yard pickup on the old play-action pass. Second and five coming up here. Ball on their own 42. Runs right for a nice game. That'll bring up third and two. Let's it fly. Couldn't haul it in. So the defense gets him to go three and out. Good job here defensively forcing this incomplete pass. That'll make it fourth and two. Harrell is back deep to return the punt. He gets hit out of bounds at the 26-yard line. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. And he's immediately tackled. That makes it first and ten. It's first and ten. Ball on the 41. Just throws this one away. the middle for a nice game. Third and five coming up. Ball on their own 45. First down grab. Tackle made at the 41-yard line. A junior makes the catch. First down. They hand it off. He's at the 30. He gets to about the 27-yard line. From the 27-yard line. First down. He's knocked out of bounds at the 24-yard line. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. They're about four yards away here on third down. Inside the 10. What a play, and that is first and goal. That makes it first and goal. This is the ninth play of this drive. Touchdown, Hurricanes! And he hits the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way.
makes it to the 37. First and 10, ball on their own 37. Nice run, and he's brought down. And he's tackled at the 45. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Less than three minutes in the game. Go ahead, two, go. Orange, three, orange, three. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. Harold will be the return man. He'll take it from the 18. And he has it on the corner. Gets to about the 34-yard line. So their last drive resulted in six points. Do you think we'll see the same result on this one? They ran the ball extremely well on their last drive. And until this defense figures out how to stop it, I think they'll have no problem moving the ball down the field. Got it complete. He's out of bounds. From their own 46-yard line, it's first down. They'll bring him down right around the 46-yard line. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 46. And he tackles him hard at the 49-yard line. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. That was a great tackle. The defender seemingly came out of nowhere and put a big hit on the ball carrier. And down he goes at the 46-yard line. And he'll be stopped well short of the first down. You have the lead in the fourth quarter, and it's third and long. Why risk a turnover? Just play it safe and work the clock. Allen fields it at the 18. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. He's tackled at the 34-yard line. Spikes the ball. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Gets to around the 42. Easy, easy. Easy, easy. Going deep. Intercepted. It's the junior corner. didn't need that. And as a quarterback, you can't give up an interception late in the game. you got to be more careful with the football. We're down to our final minute of this ball game. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. The offense lining up in a victory formation, and he takes a knee.
Runs it right. Nice pickup. That's a game seven on the play. That'll make it 35. So this one goes final. A hard-fought close game. 31-24, Hurricane. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.